SQL Server Reporting Services is built on top of the Report Server Web Service. Whenever you interact with reporting services, using just about any Microsoft or custom tool in virtually any way, you are directly or indirectly communicating with the Reporting Services Web Service API. This is because this is the API on which all the other interfaces are built. Thankfully, Reporting Services exposes this API for anyone to use, so you can use the Report Server Web Service for your own custom applications. And it can be a very useful thing to do when you have to work with reports in ways that Microsoft didn't contemplate and so didn't build the tools for. In this course, you'll learn how to use the Report Server Web Service and see some examples of how useful it is. You'll learn about the two endpoints that Reporting Services exposes, the management and execution endpoints, and the differences between them. You'll also see how to build an application using the web services to display a list of reports and render format options, both retrieved dynamically from the report server, as well as how to execute the selected report using both a custom URL and the execution web service. As a bonus, you'll learn how to dynamically determine whether the selected report has required parameters and one way to supply parameters to the report. Using the web services directly in your applications opens up some great ways to make use of reporting services reports.